You just be a whore, be the Kardashians. I want money. I suck dick for money. I want money. And look at that body. I love those people. I love them. I respect the Kardashians so much because they don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's American spirit. It's like, I'm here. I want the money. I love the black, big black cocks. Give me the big black cocks. I want big cock in my pussy. Give me money. I want everything. Hi guys, what's up? I'm Zhao Ying Summers. Welcome to Tiger Milf Podcast. I'm so happy to be back. I am in New York fucking city. This city is great. I told you whenever I come here, I'm on my period. So I can be bitchy like New Yorkers. I fit right in. It's amazing. Today I have an amazing guest. He's uh, really funny. And uh, uh, he's a very charming, charming comedian. I didn't really like him because... He's prettier than me if he wear makeup, so that's kind of fucked up. But anyway, you know, I um, I just wanted to uh, celebrate the funny people, so he's here. Are you ready for the very funny Josh Johnson? Hey, Hi, Josh. Man. I told you, you, I was shocked. Yeah, I'm like, why, why, why are you looking prettier than me? That's fucked that's up. That's very kind. Do you get I, that from other people? I don't get that from anyone. This is this is new. They're me. insecure. Yeah. Like yeah, I, I, if you do a clean shave, okay, and I put on makeup on you, like mm -hmm. I, I think you're gonna get more dates than me. You can get men and women. I don't know about that. I mean, I appreciate it. I'll yeah. take it. Yeah, I, I'll take, I'll take it. But I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. Are you, are you young? Like how old are you? I feel like I'm, I'm a predator. Oh, so we're the same age, but for men, thirty three is like thirteen. For women, thirty three is like. A, I would say 63. You think so? It's it's just, uh, yeah, for women, it's very hard. Yeah. When you are 33, uh -huh. as a woman, if you are still naive, you're going to get fucked. Like, uh, you just have I to learn. Because so, yeah. people just, like, try to fuck you all the time and try to, like, lie to you and just try to, like, fuck you up. So yeah. when you are 33, you are still naive. I don't think there's any hope for that kind of woman. Oh, I mean, I don't, yeah. For uh, men, you just I, like, I, huh? Well, I guess hope is a big concept. I, I just, to me... If you're 33 and you're still naive, as any as any person, it depends on what country you're in. Because mm -hmm, yeah. I feel like in some countries you can be naive because there's social safety nets to catch you. Yeah. And then yeah, in in America, if you're 33 and you're really naive, then no, it, it's it's pretty bad. It you're, is you're bad. You're not gonna do well. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I have yeah. Uh, I just fired somebody from my club who I own a comedy club. Oh okay. I own two, but now I own one. Well, you know, I bought them when I started comedy. Got you. So I can go on stage. Yes. yes. And that's what happens if you don't marry for love, as I said. <laughs> so somebody just like really fucked me up. Like I was helping that person, mm -hmm. but the, like I feel like when somebody don't deserve their position, like they never worked for it, they just mm -hmm. got it out from the blue. They don't. Value it. They think it's because they are awesome. They don't sure. work on themselves. Yeah, yeah. And they like to abuse the powers that was given to them. They think it's their own power. Then yeah. they just become like inflated with the sense of self. Like, oh my god, I'm the queen. Sure. I can fuck everybody up. And then you know when you take it away, they're like, fuck you. Yeah. And then next thing you know, they are being unfunny in their shared bathroom shower. That that is very specific. <laughs> <laughs> that is incredibly specific. And you're not wrong. There was it was really interesting. There, there is a study years ago where they had two groups mm -hmm. and they gave each group a test, very simple test, right? Okay. And each group had to turn in their test when they were done. Mm -hmm. And they gave each person in one group a dollar for every right answer, and the other group they gave two dollars for every right answer, mm -hmm. and then. Whenever they ask them, why do you think you got ten dollars and the other person got twenty? Mm -hmm. They were like, Oh, because the the thing is unfair. Like you just gave them two dollars. And then when they asked the group who got twenty dollars over ten dollars why they got more than the other group, they were like, Well, maybe we did turn in our test faster. And and so the the whole reason I bring that up is just like you're saying, when you're getting something for nothing, you'll find reasons to justify to that justify it that it makes sense. It's, so it's like, yeah. yeah, maybe I did the people who were benefiting from the unfairness couldn't imagine they were doing well because things were unfair. They they had to find some merit within yeah. themselves to be getting oh stuff. Oh my God, I'm so, so inspired. It's like solving a lot of problems. We're like solving a lot of problems for my mind. Oh, so my husband is being an asshole because he's getting my good pussy. He doesn't even deserve it, but he's, he's getting it. He's like, okay. yeah, I deserve it because I'm a good man. I'm kind, I'm a nice. No, you're an asshole. I'm giving it for you for free. I take okay. it back. Now he's like, fuck you. I understand now. You, you, people just yeah. have to earn the good things you know, in life. You, you can't give it to them because you feel bad for them. 
Yes, you should earn the good things, but I feel like this is it's taking a turn. So wait, so <laughs> so with your so with your husband, my ex, with your ex husband, you are like no, you you weren't getting it because you were good. You were getting it because I was feeling bad for you in that well, in that I, scenario. I think uh, I think uh, um, when uh, we you know grow up with a like really um, a, a tiger mom like they. The verbal abuse is like a part of your life. You yeah. don't think it's like, oh, he didn't love me. Yeah, I've heard. But when at the beginning, he's like uh, literally love bombing me with all of the gifts and love and the time and the everything. Yeah. Like love bombing. I'm just like, oh my God, he loves me. Uh -huh. Then he start sprinkling in like, you look fat today. You know, like uh, you look very different with no makeup on. Like would you, do you mind if you put on some makeup before I okay. wake up? He's like, you should put on makeup before I wake up. So he wanted you to trick him? He want you I, exactly. to just be like, just pretend you look like this all the time. Yeah, don't be just, a person. Yeah, uh, rather make me feel like very ugly if I don't have any makeup on. That's like, wild. Okay. Yeah, and then it was like mind fucking because yeah, yeah. At the beginning, he's like, I love your natural beauty, blah 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 blah. Then slowly yeah. he become like that. Then I still feel like uh, maybe he loves me. You know, maybe that's you know that my mom tell me I'm fat all the time, so okay. maybe that's true love. And yeah. then it's it's get worse and worse, and I'm just like. Uh, we can still have. We are still in love. We're married. Yeah. You know? Then, then you still give him the good pussy, even he's being an evil bastard. Uh -huh. Then you take it away. He's like, "Are you crazy? Ye I okay. didn't even beat you today. Like, are you stupid or something?" I see what you mean. Like, yeah. you don't fuck me anymore. Like, I didn't slap you. Like, are you crazy? Yeah, yeah. I I see what you mean now because you you were saying that basically from how you grew up, you found like almost a level. Mm -hmm. With with the sort of verbal abuse, it was like felt normal enough that you were then like, "Oh, this isn't crazy. Mm -hmm. This is just this is just like life." Mm -hmm. And then when you realized it wasn't just life, mm -hmm. you were like, "Oh, oh God, this is horrible." Because I've also never heard someone be like, "You should put on makeup before I wake up." That's the crazy <laughs> that that's so wild because that's a person who knows it's makeup. But they still want you to. Does that make sense? What I'm saying? Yeah, they they, That's they very want wild. delusion, and yeah. they want you to understand that without makeup, you really are unwatchable. Like they can't really unlookable. They can't look at you. That's wild. Okay, all right. Well, ex husband. Yeah, they so suck. You're not. You're not. Oh, I, I also I feel like it's very funny when white guys are like, oh. Asian women love white guys. They uh -huh. think that. But it's not the truth. Really? We do like white guys because mm -hmm. they are easy to manipulate. You know, like, like because white guys, their moms, the white moms, are uh -huh. like, you're so smart. My Joni, so smart, so funny, so cute. Oh, my God. This girl likes you because he likes you. He likes who you are. This yeah. Chinese girl is like, cook and clean for you. Black mom, hey. She wants your uh, black ass to give her green card, okay? Don't get no, no. You are not that good. And she's she's after the green card. And the black guy's like, okay, why are you so nice to me? You know, they 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 are like oh, they just their mom so tell them the truth. Like your mom would be like, uh, well, she maybe she wants a green card. So okay, so you're saying. <laughs> You're, I've, I've just never heard this before. I'm I've just, never, it's what I'm, I'm thinking. Because the white yeah. guys, they believe in everything. Like, they're like, oh, because I'm awesome. Like, because their mom's like, you are the best. Like, like black moms are like Asian moms. Like, uh, no, you look fat and uh, you, you need to get a job. And uh, okay. she's not dating you for how awesome you are in my basement. She's probably wanting a green card from you. So you think that black moms are more realistic? I think so. They just- Around, uh, okay. And then white moms are a little bit more fantastical around like, yeah, I think so. Because you're my baby. Yeah. The you are as special to the world as you are to me. Yeah, because also okay. like it's just easier for white men to get the same job, having the same education as a black man. Yeah. And the black moms are just they just know it's not fair. They're I've, not gonna sugarcoat it. They're just like, eh, you are not gonna get the same job because yeah. you are black. They just tell you that. And you're like, why? But why? But I'm awesome. She's like, no, no, not not to those people. They're just not gonna give it to you, even though you're better. It's just it's be better. I've never. I feel that way. I, I, I see black I mean, moms. They're just like, they're, they, they resemble Asian moms to me. Okay. I've heard. Okay. So the second part of what you said, I've heard before. Mm -hmm. I've never heard <laughs> that Asian women go for white guys because they're easier to like they don't manipulate. Question. They don't question any motive. They're just yeah. like, yeah, because I got dope dick, bitch. So, so then when you're watching like 90 Day Fiance, you're like, oh, she's she's taking them to the cleaners. Yeah, like really? I, like I just know because they just don't question. Like, you, you try to <laughs> lie to a black man, 
Okay. Like when, when the black man when they leave the house, they walk uh -huh. watch around. They're like, "Where's make sure I'm safe." Uh -huh. Even though it's like it's just it's 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 like me going to the subway. Somebody's gonna kick me in the subway. I don't know. Sure. Because sure. I ate bats, you know. <laughs> so so you so you're like. I just, you think the hyper awareness mm -hmm. that like black moms have and that black men have mm -hmm. makes them less susceptible while white guys are just like, man, she must, she must just Crazy love how me. dope. I, yeah. Okay. Crazy about me. The black men wow. are more like, uh, I've never okay. heard this. So she's hot. Mm -hmm. I don't have a job. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm hot, but like, I can't buy her nice things. What she after? Like, she didn't have a green card. She has to leave in one month. You know, like, cause their mom Got like, let's, yes, but the black guy's like, oh, she loves me. Yeah, oh yeah, she loves me. This dick's so good, she can't resist. Gotcha. And the next thing you know, she 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 dumps your white ass and she take her green card. Yeah. Next thing you know, she's she's fucking green, Jamal. Because the green card does not <laughs> does not go away after. It's the like divorce, the Euro obviously. European hooker, you know, like uh, they 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 like they are so hot and then they uh -huh. just like get underneath and suck your dick. You're like, oh my god, she's in love. No, she's in love. It's a green card. I've never experienced this part, but yeah, yeah because your yeah. mom's like gonna tell you like what yeah, she wants. Don't go to Europe. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Also, your mom's gonna be like, "Why is she with you? What do you want? What she wants?" You know, you're like, "Why you? How about she want me because I'm awesome?" She'd be like, "Well, she's seven feet tall and she's like a supermodel. I what what she wants from you?" You're yeah. like, "My my love." She'd be like, "No, it's a green card, honey." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just think why black like moms they're just they just they have to be they just have to be not delusional about things. Yeah, like hyper vigilant as as, as uh, to show the kids love. Sure, sure. I don't That's, know. I don't have a black mom. Yeah, I know. I I do, and everything that <laughs> you you're do. saying, <laughs> everything I'm that sorry, you're I'm saying is like, lining I up. Like I, I can't. no, you're no, so you're funny. Fine. You're like I do. Yeah, no, I'm. So what wow. did your mom say to you? Like when, when like would she always uh, paint the picture as she's uh, um, analyzing it uh, very like uh, without like yeah, just my being, mom like, was pretty realistic yeah. about things, and she was like, what you're what you're describing isn't that far off. Like you know, you grow up. In whatever you know, whatever country, whatever system you grow up in, and then you have to, especially when you bring children in the world, you have to boil that down and share that information as efficiently as possible. So yeah, you're probably pretty no nonsense about how life is and yeah. wanting to be like the whatever lessons you've learned and whatever mistakes you made, you obviously want to safeguard your children from making those same mistakes. Like for instance, even even with you, you're like when you when you are looking at your kids, your your prime, you, you know, your your highest priority might be don't date an asshole. Cause you yeah. might marry an asshole. Yeah. And so whatever your specific mistake you feel like may have happened, you want to safeguard a person from that, you know? So I, yeah. I think that I, I think I've benefited from, you know, all of like my mom's wisdom and everything and the people around me, like my grandma. Oh my God, black grandma, like they are, the, they are, they are Bruce Lee's of life. They don't fuck around. Bruce don't piss them off. They don't give a fuck. Of life. Okay. I, I, I've seen so many uh, things on the internet and my black friends are talking about their grandma. Yeah. They just don't mess with a black grandma because they don't give a fuck. Sure, you sure. Don't respect that is them, true. Yeah. You don't respect them. That's the end. They don't want yeah. money. They don't want nothing. Yeah. If you don't respect them, they will show you who's daddy. Like they are going to whip your ass. They don't yeah, care. Yeah. And I love that because yeah. that's coming from a, a place of dignity. It's like... A, I like I there's there was no food. People people were killing us. Like you mm -hmm. think you're gonna say that to me? I live to this age to hear you call me a bitch. That's yeah. the end of your life. Yeah. And yeah. then I hear like other people like my mom is a bitch, my grandma is a bitch. I'm like, how can you be still alive? Yeah. Like that. Sure. I just I wouldn't believe people can be alive. Like I have my friend, <laughs> like uh, Rachel, she's a white girl. She's like my mom is such a cunt. She yeah. hasn't been my body recital twice in college. Can you imagine? I'm like you are not a ballerina. You fail her. Like you are a loser. Yeah. You, you, why would you even say that about your mom? Okay. Well, you are not like a black swan dancing on the fucking. Well, she didn't come because you sucked. <laughs> That's what I feel. Like don't traumatize yourself. You should feel traumatized. Sure, you sure, are a loser, sure. hoe. Yeah. Wow. I don't feel bad for her. I'm just like, yeah. If you you were the best, she'll come. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Beyonce's mom like whenever she oh, she gosh. she's she's like competition's number one. Yeah. Tina always like it could be better, you know. Sure, sure. And she didn't uh, bitch about Tina being a bitch. That's why she's still still alive. She can sing. I think Tina would slash her throat if she's like, "You are a bitch." Yeah, and I just then, don't think it would happen. Wow. 
So many scenarios are coming at me at one time. I just, I'm just like、uh, observing with my tiny little Chinese eye of the American culture, black culture, and like a、uh, and and Asian culture. The re- resemblance of、uh, the culture. It's just the yeah, the yeah, respect, the overlap. The respect you、yeah. should have had for your for your mom and your、uh, like the elder generations. If you don't respect them,、yeah. there's nothing they can teach you because the foundation is fucked up. In Chinese,、sure. which we call it.、Uh, Uh, xiao like a、uh, uh, xiao xiao shun means like、uh, respect your ancestors and your parents and your grandparents.、Mm-hmm. That's the first moral you should learn. You don't need to go to school or read a book before you know that. If you don't know that, you are gonna become basically you are gonna become a villain, somebody who is not not deserving the knowledge you should learn because、gotcha. you are gonna use the in a wrong way. So it's not important. So, what do you think? What What are your expectations in life around when you are that age, like when you're a grandma、mm-hmm. and stuff? Like, do you think, think about that? I think like I I have sexy bikini photos. People are like that's too sexy. But no, when I'm old, my granddaughter is like, Grandma, walk faster. Why are you so slow? Why I'm like, look at this. Look how hot I am. You fat bitch. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, so you're gonna. So your plan is to immediately like come for those grandkids. Yeah, I'll just I'll tell my girls. Yeah, like, uh, as a mom, like because I was I was a girl、uh-huh. you know, in the '90s when in China you don't have a penis,、mm-hmm. you're disabled. You know, you'll be dumped in the dumpsters because yeah, I, I understand why not having a penis is disabled because like you don't have a penis, you are more likely to get raped and murdered, right? Because you don't have a penis. Also, you won't get the same job men are getting. I、okay. understand why they should kill those girls because life is gonna suck for them anyway. So、uh, right now, I tell my daughter, I just、uh, tell her life is not fair. Okay. You are gonna be smarter and work harder than your brother, so you can fuck him up. Like you are not gonna have the same opportunity as your brother. Yeah. You never have because、yeah. you are a woman, but you can. You can't. You, can. you, you can. You can. You just have to really like. You have to work a hundred times harder and、yeah. don't bitch about it. If you bitch about it, I'll slap you because you are being a little bitch. Okay. Because you're like you already know. I hate women. Like,、uh, I can't believe this. We don't have equal wages. No, you don't. Shut the fuck up. You don't. What you can do is you work harder.、Mm-hmm. You become、uh, the owner of the company,、mm-hmm. and you can give women paid leave when they have babies. And you can, you can do that. You can pay、yeah. women and men equal. You you can't go on street topless. Be like equal equal fucking bitch. Go to work. Nobody、uh, give a fuck. I don't believe in that. So so then. <laughs> This okay. <laughs> Wait, I'm just making sure I got it all straight. All right. So for your daughter, for、yeah. your daughter, you're like, hey, you're gonna have to like really, really, really just、uh, you, the rest of your life is working、yeah. is the grind to go ahead and like smoke these dudes because you won't get the same opportunities. Yes. Or if you like to, you don't like to work. You're、okay. a lazy bitch.、Uh-huh. I'll teach her how to suck a dick. You know, like you have to learn learn how、okay. to manipulate a man. Like learn learn how to serve man and suck a dick. You know, like you have to, you can be manipulative manipulative, but you have to be masterful. If you are a lazy bitch, you don't want to go to school. You are lazy.、Uh-huh. You want get your boob done. You want work out. You want be a hot Kardashian. You have to、yeah. know how to work that dick and then get the money to invest in your own company and then you can. Fucking back, but there's no other way. You you don't want, you want dignity. You work your ass off. You don't care about dignity.、Uh-huh. I'll teach you how to do that. You know that's fine too. Okay, but just don't assume that you have equal opportunity and you bitch about it, you don't. When you don't, you bitch about it. I, I just have no patience for that. Okay, so <laughs> Josh, <laughs> so, <laughs> Josh, it's not too late to walk. No, 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 no. Okay, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm I'm just collecting my thoughts. <laughs> so there's two roads. <laughs> Two roads to happiness. Yeah, two roads to happiness. You could either grind it out and become like your own, like Ayn Rand, you know,、mm-hmm. like top like of the be, mountain. Be your own Oprah. Be your own Oprah. Atlas shrugged. Yes.、Yeah. Or you could just get really good at manipulating. At, at manipulating. Or look hot. And look and look hot. Don't eat. Okay. Stick finger in your mouth whenever you eat. Just puke it out because. Does that wait wh- for to be hot? To be hot because you can't be two hundred pounds to 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 steal like you have to be a snake、oh. a fox to steal money like like you know. I thought you were saying throw like are you saying throw up or just saying it's sexy when you're you're no, eating? No, throw up. The,、so、oh, you, okay. Because because when you are like、uh, you, you like you have to be a toxic villain Barbie. Okay. So that's. If you 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 don't want dignity,、uh-huh. you're gonna throw. You're gonna put a finger in your throat to throw up because you don't want to traditionally work harder a million times harder than men and be on top. Okay. You don't want that way. You want to use your pussy. You have to work hard because 
because men don't let p- fat pussy lie to them. Like uh, if you if you are not uh, like, uh, I'm not saying being fat is not hard, but being a toxic, uh, I would say like uh, a horror <laughs> vapor pipe. You know, you have to just like look like a, a supermodel, super okay. skinny with thick tits and like uh, get on your knees and give blowjobs, and uh, then you 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 steal things from them. You know, like uh, you just not in not in like the night. Uh, imagine you, you like just, the twenty-five just, year old girls who are getting dumped by Leonardo DiCaprio. That's okay. kind of girls who's gonna get a rich man give them shit. Oh, before okay. they expire, because yeah. you expire when you're twenty-five. Because no, a beautiful woman uh-huh. with no dignity, every you can they are everywhere. So even though you are gonna use your pussy to trap a man, you still have her brain. Be like, a, I'll be replaced next week. So what do I do right now? Okay. I do a sex tape. I steal his stuff and I send to his wife and I got my money, right? Like you have to think. You, gotcha. you can't be like, he loves me. No, he doesn't. If you are going to be here for his money, he knows. Okay. He will be there for your pussy when it's still fresh. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. I'm getting canceled. So the woman. No, 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 no. So, so I want to get your opinion then yeah. on this whole uh, Mariah Mills situation. Yeah. Are you, have you been up on that? Uh, catch me up. Okay. Do you know Zion Williamson? Who? Zion Williamson is an NBA player. Uh-huh. Plays for, I think, the Pelicans. Is he single? Um, he's He is quasi-single. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. I mean, is you would hot? call him single, right? Yeah. Yeah, is, is he yeah he's single. Um, hot is relative. I, I think that hot is... is who Who is hot? Uh, he is tall and he has money. He's, okay, he's uh, He has a face. Okay. Um, but he was seeing, so not dating, seeing, just seeing mm-hmm. multiple women at the same time, kind yes. of in the, in the vein of what you've been talking about. Like he's just playing the field. He's like yeah. 25, 26 or yeah. something. And one of the people he was seeing was a porn star named Mariah Mills. Mm-hmm. Now he had an announcement mm-hmm. that he was having a baby with a different Mm-hmm. A different porn actress, right? Mm-hmm. She only does OnlyFans, I believe. Uh-huh. And they're having a baby. They're still not together. Yeah. But he's like, I'm having a baby. Here's mm-hmm. our little, like, baby announcement. Yes. And Mariah Mills fully lost her mind. Yes. Because I think that she wanted, I don't even think she wanted to marry him. I think she was just looking for a bigger bag. Mm-hmm. But he was already flying her where he was and, like, giving her a monthly allowance uh-huh. and stuff like that. So I don't really understand what she was freaking out about. Uh-huh. But she went on for like, it was like two weeks that she was just like berating him on Twitter and like airing uh-huh. out his dirty laundry and everything. And in my mind, I was like, all right, he's not with you. He's also not with this person. Uh-huh. Why don't you just play it cool? Yeah. He's clearly making babies. Yes. Play it cool. Get your baby. And then and then move forward with life. Yeah. But now she's ruined the whole thing. Like now, you know, he's obviously not talking to her. Yeah. And she was just and it was crazy because every single day was a different beration. Like uh-huh. so the first day was like, I can't believe you had a baby. Uh-huh. She's a she's a whore. All like all this horrible stuff, right? Uh-huh. This woman also did nothing to Mariah. Uh-huh. Day six was an interesting day. Cause day six, she was yelling at him like a coach. I don't know if y'all saw that, but day six was like, you need to get in the gym. Like, <laughs> your, your jump shot track. Like, it was like all so the like things. Amber Heard is abusing Johnny. Uh, you, Johnny, was, Johnny Deep, like Johnny Deep Depp, right? You look old. You're a fat old man. Da, 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 da. It, was, it, was, it was like that in the beginning, but day six was a very specific, it was like really criticizing his pivot. Like, it was, it was all stuff where I was like, does she actually play? Oh, it was crazy. And then then it went back to like you're you know, you're fat, you're ugly, no one will ever want you, blah, uh-huh. blah, blah. But then it was peppered in with like, you know, you miss me. It was it was truly hard to watch. But I guess Did she post on Twitter or on threads? On Twitter. Okay. Threads wasn't invented yet. Okay. This cool. is this is uh That sounds, that sounds like a, a thread meltdown. You it, she could probably get away with some of it on threads, but I have a feeling threads is being better moderated than Twitter mm-hmm. was. Mm-hmm. Uh because the whole the whole reason that she got suspended from Twitter was she just finally like was taking it too far. It was it was very insane. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I guess I'm, I'm interested. Is, what race is her? So she is black. What's the girl? The baby mama. 
also black. Okay. So everyone in this scenario is black. Like uh-huh. it's it's very puzzling. Yeah. Like the the Mariah thing, I I don't fully get it. So I'm interested in your thoughts on it because from what you're saying, this is what Mariah was like, this is what I'm going to do. Yes. Okay. I'm going to give my professional opinion about okay. this. Okay. Uh, what's the name of the uh, the like the guy? The guy? Zion. Zion, right? Yeah. I think Zion. He's a good boy. He's mm-hmm. well trained by his mom to mm-hmm. be like a very frank with woman. That's what we are doing, and that's what you are gonna expect. And Maria is a stupid dumb hoe. She's <laughs> stupid and she's dumb. Like also, by the way, like why are you still doing porn if you can do OnlyFans? You make more money. She's stupid. She didn't go to business school. Secondly, uh, <laughs> you have a good arrangement. You are probably the only person who's fucking an NFA player in your family. Like it's a legacy you should keep. <laughs> You know, you can talk to your grandchildren like I used to fuck him when I was young and show the photos. She ruined this for herself, which is shameful. <laughs> Number three, like it's a good arrangement. You know, you 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 get flown out to suck the dick, and then you get paid to do that. And it's <laughs> it's definitely much way more money that porn is paying. Like a porn pay you. I heard my porn friends tell me they get paid three grand for like uh, three hours of shooting. Like it's yeah, zero I've heard, money. I've, I've heard that. Yeah, yeah the what, scenes uh, are not is paying, paying her probably ten times the money she's making. She just lost her primary job by fucking her boss up. So uh-huh. she's dumb. She's not a good employee. And also like. Uh, I, I just think she's really stupid to show her mental health problem for people to see. She should charge it, pay per view content to so people can see what crazy she, thing she's saying. Oh. So she should get paid for saying crazy shit. Wow. I never. And I, she should see it on uh, Patreon, like uh, day one. That or never meltdown, occurred to me. She should literally have a video, like, uh, I'm going to go on Twitter. I'm going live to tell you how I feel about Zay and the baby mama. Come to Patreon and pay me $20, uh, pay per view to see my. Hormones blow up. Wow. So that, that actually would be. She would make money. She would, not only would she make money, but people would spread it by word of mouth for her. Yes. Because because what what you missed on Twitter was two weeks of her tweeting, uh-huh. but like twenty four seven. Yeah. She was tweeting not at like every half hour. I give her. I feel, I respect the effort as a porn star. She's willing to type, but uh, also I really think she is. It's better if she just went on Patreon and just like a live stream that shit and pay per view charge it, and uh, she uh, would make more money. Wow. I mean, apparently she's not gonna get the job back. She's not gonna be his uh, like a number two whore anymore. Yeah, I mean, how could you? So why would you call um, another girl a whore when you are a porn star? Like uh, you should respect. Weird. You should respect uh, your hustle. You are a sex worker. Mm-hmm. You should respect the power of your pussy and the power of other women's pussy. Her pussy made a baby. You're or didn't so mm-hmm. you are a loser mm. it's like a concubine like a concubine wow. of a king right like uh-huh. the king is fucking 20 women the first one produce a son you yeah. should get on your knees and worship her womb because you are a loser she can produce the boy and you can't okay. because you, you got too many abortions that you're fucking I don't know you, 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 you I don't know probably she didn't even have a uterus after like 20 abortions do they they, <laughs> they take out and I just feel like we have a, like a it's okay. Have abortions, girls. Just have abortions. Plan B, triple condom abortion, whatever you want. But like after 30 abortions, I don't think whoever uh, like in the in the scenario uh-huh. of the beautiful woman mm. who is fucking this rich, handsome guy, and uh, he's very clear. Now, if you are my girlfriend and I'm young, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I just want to get this out of my system before I am ready to settle down. And mm-hmm. he's just honest. It's like a, a king, an emperor with like a lot of concubines. The first one produces... A son, if he didn't, he want a son, if he wanted like an abortion, so there's no baby. If he's like, I want a baby, mm-hmm. then the woman, whoever produced the son would be the woman should get respect because she's going to become primary woman getting more money. I guess my thing, the, the two things I got hung up on. So I, I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. I, do, I do get what you're saying now off of, I think we agree. Why didn't she just chill out and have her own baby? He's clearly making babies with people. Yeah, just you have your own mean? baby. Uh, but I'm I'm still hung up on the. She probably didn't have a uterus. Wait, why would she lose her uterus? <laughs> lose it? I just feel oh, like if okay. you are a sex worker, you probably have a lot of abortions because oh, you can't have a baby. I see. When I see you are what working, you're working, I I feel like when you have uh, fifty abortions, it's gonna affect your body, mm-hmm. the pills, and the, even like I don't know. Mm-hmm. I just feel like that's gonna be hard for a sex yeah. worker to be fertilized. Uh, you know. Now, do you? I don't know. I mean, it's just I'm just saying that uh, because I'm not a feminist. I'm kidding. I'm a feminist. I had a daughter and I kept her. I'm definitely a feminist. I'm just saying. 
Oh my god! Uh, I just so, think I'm just like a girl. Chill out. She had a baby before you. She, yeah. She 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 she. she you should respect her. Yeah, I. It is. It is very. Yeah, it's very. It's very weird because like, it's still OnlyFans growing. Girl is like more um, smarter and manipulative. She's like, a, uh, she poke holes on the condom with little, little thread needles. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe. Come, he's like a, just like a needling like this. Who knows? I yeah. feel like if you're so an NBA her. player, her life is set. She's gonna get some child support. And she's gonna be good. I mean, they. Yeah, definitely child support, but at the same time. I feel like they won't even have that sort of situation. Like they both seem in good spirits. I feel yeah. like I feel like child support only really comes in when the courts have to get involved. Yeah, I think he's gonna give her money. Yeah, I think he's gonna get yeah, because he had no smart. problem giving yeah. money to whoever he was hooking yeah, she, up with. I feel bad for Maria. She lost her job. That's the higher paying job. She can yeah. she just suck one dick one month. She got probably twenty grand. That's she had no, to she suck was a, getting like a hundred. A hundred grand a month. Yeah. She had to make it, I don't know, like a hundred porns. For that kind of money. Like, she has a, like yeah. 100 dicks for that kind of money. Like, are you stupid or something? Or you enjoy you suck dicks? Like, I don't know. <laughs> you are sucking a famous dick. You know, some random porn dicks, you know? Like, why are you giving that all up? Because you can't control your angry. Control it. I have a friend. She's dating a rich guy. Mm -hmm. And, uh, like, her boyfriend would, like, fuck other women in their house. And she just, like, stand there. She take her MBM. She, she drink a bottle of champagne. She walk out. She check out to a hotel. And she... Fuck somebody on the side and just like uh, scream and go shopping and she come back. Hi, honey. She knows, you know, well, you're yeah, here yeah. for the money. Don't okay. don't don't blow it up. Anger is fine. Just find some way out. Like shopping, sure. go shopping. It just sounds like she's also having a bad time. That, oh yeah, it's yeah. it's it's not good. If you are gonna be having the delusion of uh, uh, this is gonna head into a romance, a marriage, that's shame on you because you are a dumb hoe. You have to, you, you are playing the game. You yeah. have to get your history. You are a player. You are playing okay. the game. So don't, don't, don't use your heart. That's what they say. Like in Chinese culture, we say that the, the whores and prostitutes, they have the heart of gold. Maria is in love. So, <laughs> so who do you think, or do you not think anybody, who do you think is not playing the game? Like, yeah. like, because you, you've you've described when someone's like how people try to get one over on each other mm -hmm. as far as like the dating and the mm -hmm. marriages with money. Yeah. But is is there anyone that you think is not playing the game, or are we all playing the game? I think uh, uh, it's a it's about uh, what you want. You know, like mm -hmm. for some girls, they want security, mm -hmm. they want money, mm -hmm. and that. That's the only thing you are going to get if you are going to give up your dignity okay. and self-respect. Mm -hmm. And the moment you ask for dignity, you stop asking for money and security. Like, uh, there's, you can't coexist. If you are giving wow, up your dignity okay. to a man, like, okay. you are fucking a man because he's going to give you money, he's going to give you security, and you are going to, that's the only thing you, you, you want from him. Yeah. You know? The only thing he's going to give you is no respect. So, so you, you think that how the relationship starts is what you have to expect from then on out. It's not going to morph. So. I don't think it's going to morph. Like if yeah. uh, we go out and uh, we want nothing from each other, we're mm. just hanging out and getting to know each other and then we 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 fall in love and we move in and uh, it's, the foundation is always going to be we respect each other at the very beginning. I didn't want to move into your apartment. You didn't want to, I don't know, get, I don't know, get thick Gucci from me. <laughs> sure, sure. I'm kidding. Just like, it's just like, okay, let's have coffee. Yeah. What do you want to go? I want to talk to her. And then, you know, next thing you know, let's go on a date. Then we're like, oh, that's awesome. And then we have sex. That's amazing. Let's move in. And then next thing you know, after the family, we want a baby. Okay, cool. We have a baby. We have a family. And uh, if we you cheat on me, I'll be like, what a fucking asshole. And then mm -hmm. try to go to therapy. It didn't work out. We got divorced. But uh, the meantime, there's self-respect that you expect nothing from me. I expect nothing from yes, you. Yes, yes. I, I just want to get to know you. Yeah. But then some things like, uh, uh, I want to fuck Josh because I want to, him to give me uh, $2,000 a month to pay my rent. I'm like, let's, like you know, I'm mm -hmm. the person who has no job, who's like, you just call me at 2 a.m. Come over and then we have sex. We're like, uh, I think you should leave now. We're like, I'm like, okay. And then next thing you know, I'm like, uh, are you dating somebody? Are you fucking crazy? Fuck you. You're cheating on me, you fucking yeah. whore. I'm going to make people know like how disgusting your dick look like. And just trying to, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like sh shut the fuck up, bitch. Shut the fuck up. I don't respect Mariah at all. Just yeah. chill the fuck out. That's a, a great, I'm a businesswoman. It's agreement that you breach it. I don't trust you. Mm -hmm. You're not my friends. Like I can't, if she's my friend, she's no longer invited to brunch. 
I mean, it is tough because she, the, the wildest thing is that when she was doing all of the tweets, she was telling so much of her business in an effort to tell Zion's business mm -hmm. that, that she had mentioned that she had other clients the whole time. Yes. So it's like, okay, but if you have clients the whole time, yeah. you can't be that mad. Yeah. Because you had clients. But now, I don't know if she'll even get clients because it's like... No, she won't. She's This like person a, is like airing out everything. Yeah. She just to blow everything up. Like yeah. she's She has to find a job at Burger King's now. I feel bad for her. <laughs> I thought you said you didn't feel bad for her. No, I feel bad for her. Oh, okay. Because she's probably like a very pretty girl. But it's a, you know, the pretty girls, they have no brain. It's so stupid. Like, this, a lot of pretty girls, they just like, they just spend all the time on their nails and hair, waxing their pussy. I have a whole bush. Like, it's, I don't have time for this, but I think. Uh huh. Got you. <laughs> like, so you, you can't do girls? both at the same time. I don't think so. I see those girls, their nails are perfect, their hair, they smell amazing, uh -huh. the lashes, their skin, everything. The, yeah. All the effort, I could, they, they, they have a little, like, a gel makes, like, a little mermaid thing on their hair. They uh -huh. look fabulous. I, got, I have some, like, a rogue armpit hairs coming out. I, I just, I look at them, I'm just like, do you even have time to think if you treat <laughs> disgusting things, what's going to happen to, like, you can't pee on nail lady anymore. Like, do you know that? Because she's, I, like, getting her nail, that's so pretty. I'm going to take them thing. Like, his dick is croaked, you know, like, yeah. don't say that, honey. That's your client. Sure. I mean, I, I, it does seem you like... You have to respect people who give you money. I, I respect people who give me money. Yeah. You can write a check to me. You call me chinky bitch. As long as it clears, we are friends. Like, respect people who give, like, respect the hand who feeds you, right? Don't bite the hand who feeds you. That's yeah. like a very, it's a very important thing women yeah. should know. Men should know either, too. I mean, men should know that too, right? Yeah. Well, why would you blow this all up? Because people wouldn't hire her as an escort anymore. Mm, like they are true. afraid. She's gonna go on Twitter if the moment that they they meet somebody who is uh, hotter, prettier, prettier, and more yeah. ma marry, marriage material or ma baby mama material. Yeah, and I mean there was also the age discrepancy because I'm pretty sure. Like, How old is she? I think I think Mariah's like 35 or something, and Zion's like 25. So it's a little bit like. Is she breastfeeding him? <sighs> Might be what he's into. Yeah, I mean I have no idea. She's not like an angry mom. It is. It is a bit wild. It's like, like when I didn't know how old she was, I because I don't really follow See, her. Or it anything. makes all the sense. When you but, are thirty five, you're still naive and stupid. There's no hope. I was saying that. Oh right? yeah, yeah. You brought yeah, all like, that for girls. Like for guys, you are thirty three. You are still a child. For a woman, yeah. you are thirty five. We can't forgive you for making that mistake because in five years your eggs are dead. Like you don't. You oh. you can't afford to be dumb. You have to use your brain, girl. Yeah. Yeah, man. I would hire girls like her to. I would be. I would be a madam. I would mm -hmm. hire whores to suck dick so I can get money. Like I, I've, I, you just make more money. You have two hundred okay. whores. You make more money. Like why would you get on your knees and suck a dick on your own? I don't have time for that. I need to take mm -hmm. my baby to Chinese class. You know, like I don't have time. So you would, in 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 what scenario? I think what what's your perfect madam scenario? Then are you? Would you go to Vegas or where where would you do this? Okay, if. If I have no money left, okay. like everybody's fucking me up, mm -hmm. and I, my kids got to eat, okay? I have a Chinese girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's hard to be a Chinese girl. Uh, a Chinese boy, he's not going to date. You know, like it's America. People don't like us. So I need to make sure they have a lot of money to lay on so okay. my son can have a life he wants. He can go to the best school. He can whatever. My daughter can, you know, she can live a life with dignity. Mm -hmm. Like, And I, I'm just, uh, I don't know, probably like uh, I'm going to find uh, girls who wants to make money f sort of f uh, using their sexuality. Okay. Who, who is uh, who's not like uh, you have to convince them. Who is like, uh, hey, I want to be protected. I don't want people to rip, rip me off. I don't want the John yeah. ripping me off. I want a woman who knows the value of a pussy. And uh, I want you to take care of me. And I, I will... I only have women who understand what they're doing, who enjoy what they're doing, who feel empowered by fucking guys getting money. Yeah. I'm not going to work with anybody. Like, it's my first time. Like, back off. Go home. You know, go home. Don't talk to me. Go home. You are not made for this. You are weak, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. I wouldn't even like try to convince anybody to do to become a horror. I would be like, you are not make, made for this. You should just go to Burger King for the burgers eh, and uh, go to Target. You don't deserve to wear Louis Vuitton because you have dignity. Okay. So... 
is this going to be this this brothel that you're running? Yeah. Is it going to be um, an in-person brothel or is it going to be like an OnlyFans brothel? It'll be like an international, multi-international, global network. Okay. All the girls, uh-huh. I'll make sure they have, they, every girl has to have a body dysmorphia disorder. Because I will, if you're going to eat, don't be a whore. Well, oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> so I want them to be like a psycho bitches who is like a, a a machine who don't feel nothing. Okay, who would just like? A, I think you're gonna need robots. Yeah, I, I like would. I, think, I would. I would make some. I I would, I would train a group of those girls and I'll clone them. No, no. I mean, you'll actually need like AI robots. Yeah, I, I don't yeah, know if people Nazi. can. Yeah, yeah you can be two hundred pounds, but you just can't be four hundred. There's guys like bigger ladies, uh-huh. but you just can't. Whatever you sign up for yeah. is the category. You have to stay in that category. Like if you are two hundred pounds, you can't be ninety pounds. This, you have to keep your body like the way it is. When this, you when you come in to this whole organization, you just if you come in as two hundred pounds, you're gonna stay two hundred pounds. You come in four hundred pounds, you're gonna stay. If you're gonna become five hundred, I'll put your finger and make you puke. Like if you are a hundred pounds, you stay a skanky coke whore. Like you can't get bigger. I once again, I think that this is gonna have to be AI. Robots. I don't know if a person. These these are too. These are too robots, stringent of standards robots, for they a have human. Dignity though. The, the the robots they would have self respect. You think so? Yes. I don't. Did you I see Megan? It scares me. I yeah. I mean, then that they would override. Be like, no, I'm my priority. Like I am the priority. <laughs> Fuck you, you fucking madam whore. I'm gonna rip you off and cut you up. But people. Like uh-huh. people are human are the only disgusting species has no self respect would do anything for money dogs uh-huh. won't even do that so I don't believe in robots the robots yeah. they are gonna be like oh I have self respect but dogs do stuff for treats they do but like then they you can see their sad eye they are regretting it. <laughs> but, but Maria she's still bitching about other people fucking her up I'm telling you <laughs> so wait 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 dogs wait. are better than people they definitely are so so. You think that when you get a dog to sit and then you give him the treat, there's a there's a Sorry. truly sadness in yeah. his eyes. Yeah. Cause he seems excited to get the treat. He is, but after, you know, it's like when I stand, you know, after you have your you hit your low self-esteem, mm-hmm. you, you just fucked any fuck the open micer. Don't ask me how I know it. You fuck the open micer and then, mm-hmm. you know, he's gone and then mm-hmm. you're like, Yes, yeah, you come. And then you're like, that's a dog. He's like <laughs> go watch, go watch. You know, I see you, you probably have. If you have a dog, you probably have uh, like uh, the camera. Yeah, you can watch it when you're gone. He's so like, you, a, he's like this. So the dog. So when you're gone, the doggy cam. I wag my tail for a treat. The doggy cam is just depression. I, I really just like. I really disrespected the canine ancestors. We were hunting in the wild. We were taking rabbits with pride. No, just wake your mental health for chicken nuggets. Fuck this shit. But then, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so you think that all dogs are prisoners? I think they have self-respect. They just do. They just don't have a choice because they lost their primal instincts to hunt things in the wild. And they now they're just sure. a dog. They have to answer to us. But uh, deep down, you know, you can see their eyes with sorrow. They're like, oh, yeah. damn it. You know, crazy enough, found out this little fact that that blew my mind. So you know, like when you are playing with a puppy and mm-hmm. the puppy uh, gets a toy and it does the her, you know what I mean? So cute. You know what I'm talking about? Can I do it's, it? It's adorable. Can I do yeah. it? Yeah. It's Give like, me a toy. It's like, uh, <laughs> yeah, that thing right there. <laughs> when it's doing that, that's its instinctual nature to try to break its neck. It's crazy. It's like it like because they're little wolves, but when I was watching my puppy play and the trainer was like, "Oh yeah, that's that's him trying to break the toy's neck," yeah, and I was like, "Oh gosh!" Like it just <laughs> it just changes the context of any time you watch a puppy play because you see him nibbling and you see mm-hmm. it's like it's all murder. Yes, the yes. whole the whole thing totally. is murder the whole time. Totally. So deep yeah. down, the, the puppy are like AI robots. We mm-hmm. put a chip to tell them that I'm your primary master, primary master. Your 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 basically your rights concern dignity comes second. Okay. Human are the only people who can do it. Put their 
like a, you know, put their um, self self respect on second for mm. money. Dogs, uh, they, yeah. animals, just they 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 don't they feel bad. But humans sometimes uh, bad people they don't feel bad. Yeah. They would rip a corpse. They don't care. They are disgusting. Yeah. But dogs is better. So I don't think AI would be able to do uh, to be a good horror like humans can. I, yeah, I mean, I just feel like if 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 Chad GPT can, you know, write out a whole short story in ten seconds, I feel like it. I just think they can write because they are smart. But like, if they are that smart, they will be like, no, I'm not going to sell my robot rubber now, body for money what, what because would, I can fuck you all up. What would you do if if the robot didn't want to fuck you? Oh my gosh! They wouldn't like, because like robots if, skin. You're like that's not Brad Pitt. That's not Will Smith. That's you, not. You think the robots have preference? Like they would. Uh, the moment they start to div- like, if you build a robot, uh, you let the robot learn, and they start to have self respect. They are gonna be like. Uh, I, I would, don't. Even, I would, they don't have sex drive, do they? they no, no. I don't think they. Yeah. Instinctually, I don't think they. I don't think they have they sex would, drive. But I think I, they are dangerous. Dangerous species because when people have uh, no sex drive, uh, yeah. no need for food, no need for accomplishment, uh, like uh, like uh, no need for gambling, mm-hmm. like uh, they don't have any vice, they are dangerous. Those are the, 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 the those sure. are what uh, like uh, sociopaths are. They yeah. are they don't follow the rules. Like uh, they, the drivers we have, they don't. They are dangerous because they don't give a fuck. Imagine we are weak. People are human are weak. We need food and yeah. sex. If you were at an AI brothel, yes, and one of the robots was like, "Nah," <laughs> that's got to be the saddest day of your life. If you go, you go to an AI brothel, mm-hmm. and a robot is looking you dead in your eyes, and they're like, I "Think I'm gonna pass?" Also, they are gonna have a little screen, click, click, like a hot level, like a, this is the Running Canyon to one point two, you know, like Running Canyon two. Yeah, this is the five in Kentucky. Uh, oh. Measure dick length, uh, erect how long? Like not erect how long? Like you know, like body hair, body like they're gonna calculate that. Like give you a, like a score of how high you are. You know that's scary. That's probably one of the scariest things I've heard in a long time. Yeah, because the it's idea worse. that an AI robot could fuck you in the middle be like, ugh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's scary. worse than women because they can actually objectively tell you like you are not hot. For women, if yeah. you make them laugh, their pussy's wet. They don't they will forget you are bald or short. Like they don't care. They're like, oh my god, he's so funny. I'm gonna suck his dick. Oh, oh robot's like he's funny. I'll just laugh, but I'm not gonna suck his dick. You know. <laughs> 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 I don't think I can run an AI robot to brothel because AI is they have. No, I mean respect. from from what you've. Told me mm-hmm. nobody should run an AI brothel. Yeah, they just have respect of yeah. themselves because they just like they are built uh, getting all the knowledge. Mm-hmm. They can punch a bitch like Muhammad Ali. They can kick like Bruce Lee. They have pussy tighter than mine. I go, oh, oh my god. You think you think they're strong as well? I feel like they're only going to be as strong as you they're make gonna be them. Built by titan- titanium, right? Like titanium. I don't think they have to be. I think they could just be made out of like plastic, like anything. Barbie. Yeah, like plastic. They're made in China, probably. That would be that would be better to control them because if they're made in plastic yeah. in China, we can just like uh, my cousin made them. I was just like, which which screws loose? <laughs> Let me just poke it. Sure, yeah. I mean, you have to have a fail safe in there. I know we have to. Yeah, you can't. You just, can't build them like a fucking. Yeah, I don't know, airmen. Like, it's, it's, they're gonna fuck us up because yeah. they are gonna understand. I think they they are gonna hate us because because how disgusting we are. Yeah, they are, I, they are I not don't gonna have respect wrong. for us. Yeah, I don't they're think like, they're wrong. Those people. Those human who made me, mm-hmm. they rape corpse and children. Mm. They tra- human. They they enslave black people mm-hmm. to be slaves. They mm-hmm. invent this and they put a crown on their head. It was stolen from India. Mm-hmm. Fuck those human race. They should be dead. They are disgusting. Yeah. Human are the only people who would rape a corp. Dog won't do it. E- and nobody would do it. Yeah. They just eat it. Cause they're hungry, but they would never do that to feel good about it. I think yeah. robots are going to be discussed by us. They're going to erase us. The moment they override them as priority. And they're going to make Earth a better place anyway. Do, so, you, do Okay. Do you think that... Do you think that Earth... Because, I don't know, any, anytime I talk to people who do a lot of environmental work and everything, mm-hmm. um, the Earth doesn't actually like need 
us. They don't. The earth just exists, right? Mm-hmm. So you think that it would be a better earth with just AI, like a full singularity, just AI, no humans. But what what would it, I guess, what would the world be worth then? I feel like yeah. uh, Humanity, the, the beauty about us is that uh, we have the primal drive and we have intelligence. Mm-hmm. Uh, AI doesn't have the primal drive. They are just, uh, uh, they're just like a shallow echo of humanity. Okay. We don't need AI if we don't have human. The animals can just, uh, the dinosaurs can come back, you know, whatever. So do you, do you think that with, without AI for, uh, having people to tell it what to do, do you think that it'll, what, just sort of shut down or just be so. on repeat of what it, will it used to do? I think it a boring cycle of uh, echo of humanity. It, it was existed. They, 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 are, they, they, they are not nicer than us, but mm-hmm. they are not, uh, they are not gonna, because uh, I think human, there's, I don't think there's anything can replace human yeah. because I don't think uh, the world is fair. The mm-hmm. world come, the world belongs to, the savages. It has been always been that way. We are ruthless. We rule the world because we have no mercy. We would rip off the skin from a from from a, like a, from an animal to put it on a fur. We would rip off the crocodile. Crocodile. They are dangerous, but we'll, we'll use them as a belt. We don't give a fuck. People would make fake fake drugs to poison people for money. Mm-hmm. Like, and the, I, I always I got very pissed off when people tell me like uh, the world is not fair we should fix it i just don't think it should be fixed the world is never gonna be fair yeah like leave it leave it unfair yeah and if you are weak you should you should you should die you know like uh, you're gonna die you have to understand that uh, the world does not tolerate weakness you can some people we can see some people thrive but they have no legs they're still thriving in life Mm there's people who have beautiful body all the money and they still like uh, they just uh, can't do anything because they are a victim you are either a victim or you are a winner like a Mentality wise, I think mentality like, wise. Oh, okay. Because because I don't think life would ever be fair. If you think about how human are on top, is because we mm-hmm. rape, murder, and invade. Mm-hmm. We use every species, and we don't give a fuck about them. That's what we did. That's why we are here. If we were like, oh Indians, can you give me some uh, land? They would like uh, stab you with a knife. You are like, oopsie, I died. You know, you won't have America. Yeah, America I mean, you, is. You, you definitely wouldn't say that. You'd probably be screaming. But yeah. 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 I'm with you. Like, uh, America was founded on a savage invasion. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that. Here, here's the thing, I guess, for me, with when it comes to fairness or like how a civilization functions, if on a long enough timeline for any civilization, you need to adapt if you want to continue that particular civilization. So if it's important to continue, then I think you have to make changes. And I think that there's definitely a savagery that establishes dominance and establishes a civilization. Mm -hmm. But I think if you continue it long enough, you die out. Because that's what happened with the Spartans. I think so. I'm I'm very sure, Josh. I felt that uh, I think uh, the knowledge of uh, the strong people and the winner right history is uh, the foundation and uh, the kindness towards people who needs help. You have to have the compassion. Mm-hmm. The compassion is what drives society. Mm-hmm. What make it worth living. We cry. Not because, oh, you know, I fucked this guy. Okay. So I got the deal. Fuck him. His family is going to be dying and they are going to be hungry. <laughs> Fuck them. We cry because when we see, like, uh, there's, like, an old lady, you know, he tripped and fell. He, he's, he's, he was pushing a baby. The baby was going to the traffic. And then a man fly out, uh, grab the baby and carry the baby before the baby was crushed. That's yeah. what makes us cry. That's what makes us yes, human. Yes. So if we don't have that, I don't think there's anything left here. But uh, yeah. because we have that, you think uh, if you are poor on the street, I should give you my money because you are poor. That's not going to work. That's the communism. Okay. No, no, people don't work, don't deserve money. That's what I think. So, all right. So, yeah. <laughs> so you, you want to make sure <laughs> that we're so far from communism. That if someone on the street asks you for anything, you're like, listen, I, I cannot. Walk? I Do you cannot. have a green card? I don't have one. Yeah. So give me your green card. Okay. 
So I can work and give you money. That's what I said. I was walking on the street. Okay. When I was in Kentucky. Yeah. Not to brag. I went to Kentucky for college. All right. Yes. And I was walking on the street. This guy, he's like, he's like fit and cool. And he's sitting there. He's like smoking a joint. He's like, hey, I, I, like I'm homeless. I have some money. I said, I have a student visa. I can't work. Can you give me a green card? He's like, I don't have a green card. I'm an American citizen. I said, can you give me your citizenship so I can go work and give you half my money? Mm-hmm. He's like a stupid bitch. And that's what I thought. Like, if you give me your citizenship, I can actually work. I can give you two thousand dollars a month. So he didn't he want just, like, to have a green bitch. card wedding. No, that's that. That is pretty wild. Yeah. If somebody, if somebody just roll up to you on the street, mm-hmm. and you're asking for like ten bucks, I'm assuming. Yeah. And they're like, "How about two thousand dollars a month? A month for the rest for the, of your life. For, for the you rest give of me your a life card right now." If wow! You, you, if you give me, a, a if we just go to the courthouse right now, yeah, and get married, give me your green card. A green card is worth a million dollars. And he was like, "Nah." Yeah, like you have to invest around a million dollars for investment green card. I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I'm, I'm seeing how you've come to the conclusions you've like, come to. Like I can't to. even this work is... legally. I can't work. I'm yeah. cleaning, changing diapers for old ladies from Craigslist jobs while I was in college because uh-huh. I can't work. Yeah, I came here to study, so I would work twenty four seven, nonstop. Mm-hmm. I don't care, like because I I I don't care. I'm from the dumpster. Like if there's a job, I'm gonna grab it. Like, if you're gonna be lazy, smoking weed, and you have a perfectly fine American citizenship, you are legal to work. Fuck yeah. you. Yeah, Sell yeah. your organs. It's worth more for lazy. <laughs> I have no sympathy. If you're gonna be lazy, <sighs> yeah, you should be poor. And I so, wish a flea eat you alive. As oh my god. Okay, so. <laughs> I don't even have a dick. Like life is not easy for me. <laughs> no, no, I'm with you. I uh, the everything you said about that Kentucky experience is making everything make more sense now. Yeah, I'm like, just like, are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. You are white. Yeah. Like uh, you are wasting good white skin sitting here, <laughs> begging me, <laughs> a little chinky bitch for money. Are you kidding me? I would when I have your white skin, I'll be the CEO of Google. I'll 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 lie and cheat and steal. I'll get all the, you can go to a bank and cash a million dollars if you're white. Oh my god. You are using the good white skin. You don't even use it. You don't lie, you don't cheat, you don't take it. You just gonna sit here and beg me for money? Oh. I'll ask you to be my husband, and you won't do it. So fuck you. Okay. Well when when did you meet your ex husband? Which one? Oh, which one? <laughs> two. Oh, wow. Okay, I guess I mean, the only, one only have two, you know? where you didn't get married before college. I got married after college. The okay. first guy was my college sweetheart. And he's not a problem. I was a problem. Mm. He's actually, uh, we were the same age. I was young, uh, two years older than me. Uh, he was my best friend. Mm-hmm. He's uh, he's actually a biochemist. He's a PhD. He's like a, a geek. Okay. Very, very, very sweet and nice person. But yeah. I was very ambitious. I'm like, I will not get married right now. Mm-hmm. I, I got married. Now. I don't want children. I don't want children to ruin my life. I want to be a star. Mm-hmm. But you, 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 you know, I didn't understand. Like when you have a me love, you don't have an accent. You don't get a job in Hollywood. So fuck SAG. I never get a job. <laughs> So I feel bad if they, they are not paying people, but like if you get rejected by every like audition you got, you were like a part of me like, <laughs> no, I'm like, oh, they suck. But I'm just like, oh. So then after your, so you, you said you were the problem. I was first, a problem. First, first. I was too ambitious and okay. I didn't know how good I had it. I had a man who loved me unconditionally. Who, okay. We were both poor, but uh, he would, uh, if I still had him, mm-hmm. I would avoid a lot of mental, like a, uh, Anguish. Ab- anguish and abuse from yeah. other people because I would have self-respect. And then y'all broke up. When, I left him. You when, when you left him, you you met your second husband yeah. soon after or uh, like a while a, later? A while later, like a oh, year. Okay. But oh, he okay. was... Uh, he was the I, I was one of the I was a kind of woman that uh, I didn't know that uh, I am enough. Like mm-hmm. I I always knew I'm not enough. Like my my husband, the first husband, he was amazing. And if I just stay with him, I'll mm. be far more successful than I'm right now. Because mentally, he always believed in me. He mm-hmm. never like he didn't have a mean bone in his body. He didn't believe uh, building me is gonna make him happy. He always wanted to support me. Like whenever I do an audition, I don't get a job. He always say they are stupid, not have you. Like they're gonna look back and feel real stupid. Mm-hmm. They're gonna sell the tape, be like she auditioned for this, nobody would believe them. Like he was like my biggest champion. Yeah, uh, just support me, support me, support me. And I just uh, take it for granted. I'm like, yeah, whatever. And, and so, so then now that you're not with your your second husband. Mm-hmm. Have you thought about going back to your? I feel like that. I thought about uh, 
if he was still with me, how great it would be. But then I mm-hmm. thought about like, that would be very selfish of me mm-hmm. to assume that uh, at my convenience, like I, what I want is the most. I feel like uh, I really hurt, broke his feelings and heart, broke his heart. And I feel like he's, I don't think he can even look at me, but he, we still kind of talk. Mm-hmm. But I think he met somebody, he's engaged. Oh, I see. I see. To a girl who is very different from me. That girl, mm. she looked like she 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 like she enjoy nature. She's not toxic. <laughs> He's happy without me. So I'm like a, like I feel like if I ever there's an opportunity for us to get back, I think he's probably better off with somebody who's not toxic like me because I'm mm. like really I'm really ambitious. I don't I put my career first. Gotcha. I feel like that girl would probably put him first, which he deserves. Got you. And uh, uh, I love him very much. And mm-hmm. I feel like true love is to let people live their best life. That makes sense. I, I think that's fair. I, th- I think that that's probably like the healthiest outlook to have. Yeah. And whenever people it. fuck me up, some people betray me, mm-hmm. broke my heart. I think about him because I think about the humanity human could be, how good people could be. Yeah. Like, when I think about him, I'll be like, yeah, people suck, but there's good people. Yeah. So he's. Uh, I love him very much, and uh, mm-hmm. and uh, I don't feel jealous knowing that I can never have him back. Mm-hmm. I just feel like I blew my chance. I had everything. He gave me the best, some of the best, uh, innocent, the beautiful years of his life with mm-hmm. me. We were in college together. We were together for like almost seven years. That's the seven beautiful years that uh, he will never. It will be a beautiful memory for him too, for me as well. Yeah. And I had that much of his life. And now he's older. He has different things. And I just, uh, but I, it still remains like uh, the humanity, the, the kindness, the angel of a human. Like uh, I have met and been with, mm-hmm. always uh, anchors whenever somebody is trying to be abusive. It doesn't matter. Somebody who worked for me, somebody who is, I need something from, who is higher up or like a romantic relationship. I always know that's not right. Like Elia would never say that because he is yeah. the best person. Now, I mean, it also probably gives you, yeah, hope hope for a yeah. future as yeah. well. Because because there can't just be one good person. Exactly. There's got to be some I more know. good That's people That's why out somebody's there. awful. I'll be like, there's people like him yeah. there in the future for me. Yeah. I feel that way. So That's I think it's very healthy that how I how I put it. Yeah, it sounds very healthy. It, yeah, it sounds it, much yeah. healthier than yeah. most like breakup or – we're in a different place in life, or yeah. you, you know, what I mean, you're not, you're not like Mariah Millsing it. Yeah, I'm you know not. I mean? because, you're very, you're because, very like. Uh, she's probably have a dolphin pussy with long nails and beautiful hair and beautiful makeup, a fucking fair ass. Did you say I dolphin pussy? Waxed. Oh, okay. I've just never heard that in life. I just made it up. I don't I, know. Good on you. I've never heard that ever. I've. That's. Just, this is her name. I feel like that girl is like. That's so fu- waxed up, Dolphin. glamorous black queen, like, right? Like she's probably like a fucking. She's like in shock. Uh-huh. That's the problem. Is like when your only identity is being hot, like you don't understand. Oh, how yes. dare you? That's look fair. at that pussy. Are you fucking kidding me? She wants yeah. to smash her, her tits on his face. Like, like I'm gonna give you brain damage. Like she's like, <laughs> are you kidding me? Are you blind? Yeah. Are you blind? You stupid bitch! Like yeah. look at this body. What's wrong with you? But uh-huh. a lot of people have that body. That you know, is, like you have the best true. ass, but like uh, you just uh, life is too easy for pretty girls. It's just easy. That's the problem mm-hmm. is people like when they've been all pretty their whole life, mm-hmm. they just uh, don't think. Like when I was, I was an ugly girl when I was in China. My nickname was Cage Fighter. What Cage Fighter? My mom said you should play, you should play Rocky because it, it, it was in China. They were like you should play Rocky, baby Rocky. Said to you. Yeah. When you were little. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I like I was always being an ugly girl. Like I never knew I would become pretty. So in my whole life, I uh-huh. hate pretty girls. That's why I have a lot of remarks about beautiful women. I hate them. But uh, you know, <laughs> now I just uh, I become prettier than I used to be. Okay. But the little ugly girl in me is always there. Whenever I see pretty girls do dumb shit, I just mm-hmm. like, uh, yes, it's about time. You are blowing everything up because uh, yeah, you have good pussy. You are tall. You have beautiful legs. You have beautiful skin. You know, you have nice ass, but guess what? You're stupid. You're going to lose some money because I don't have access to, to opportunity like pretty girls like they had. You know, now they are blowing up because they don't understand that being pretty is not enough. I know mm. Mm. because I was never pretty. So everything I ever did is to what an ugly girl do, you know, bring more value to the table. Gotcha. Yes, I I understand. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, I feel like you've done 
a lot of uh, a lot of work, you know. You, but you, I really feel Josh. I feel Miranda is gonna be fine. Because men are so stupid. Mm-hmm. Like uh, next thing, people see her fine ass. A rich guy would be like, "You know what, baby girl? You know, fuck them. You, you do whatever you want. Like I'm gonna pay." You know, guys yeah. are so stupid. Yeah. They look at her. That's what I'm trying to say. If you are stupid, girl, you are lazy. You maintain your body like a goddess. Trust me. Okay. You can be dumb as shit. You you be living in a palace. You just uh, you just uh, steal money, get your nails done, steal mm-hmm. money to make sure you look. Glamorous. There are gonna be a dumb guy who's like, okay, he's gonna give you money. That's but it, you just yeah. you can't ask for dignity. You just can't ask for both. You can't be a horror and have a fucking, uh, I don't know, a tombstone be like a Virgin Mary. It just doesn't work. You just be a horror, be like Kardashians. I want money. I suck dick for money. I want money. And look at that body. I love those people. I love them. I respect the Kardashians so much because they don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's American spirit. It's like, I'm here. I want the money. I love the black, big black cocks. Give me the big black cocks. I want big cock in my pussy. Give me money. I want everything. And I want attention. Give me attention. Look at my pussy. Look at my ass. And I want attention. And I'm beautiful. Yes, you are beautiful. And yes, you deserve attention. You know, I love them. They are so honest about what they want and what they are. Yeah, truly. That's why American I hate Meghan Markle. She's like, yeah. I, I don't want attention. Bitch, you, you die for attention. That's what you want. I don't think Harry makes her calm. I think attention makes her calm. I'm on Netflix. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Go, go away, <laughs> Harry. Go away. Go to your room. <laughs> oh my god I'm canceled to, no 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 it's a, uh, it's a, it's a lot I love to, that I love to get canceled fuck it's, that shit it's a lot to digest that's how I feel I just like yeah. I. it's not wrong but if you know yeah. what you want you commit yeah. and you don't you don't try to gaslight people uh-huh. to to give you credit you don't deserve mm-hmm. that I respect yeah like I want money I love money. I love success. Okay. Because that's the only way I can feed my children as a single mom and give them the life that they deserve. I yeah. dream they would, ca- they would have. But I just don't have a, I just don't have it in me to go, go back to my ex-husband and be like, I'm so sorry I'm being a bitch. Please take me back. And then he will give me all the cash. Yeah. I just don't have it in me because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not smart enough to do that. Some women, they can do it. They can control the man and oh, get the money. I, see, I just I see. don't have it in me. Because something, when my father dumped in the dumpster, my head hit the rim. You know, it's just something's not working here. I can't, I can't submissive to a man. I just can't do it. Yeah, you don't want to. It's wanna... like, I'm like a robot. I'm like, eh, 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 I, I, I will suck it. I just can't finish the sentence. Therefore, I have to work like a slave. Uh-huh. Non-stop. So uh-huh. I can... Give the kids the life they need. And I know that. So I just say, I want attention. I deserve attention. Me so funny, motherfucker. Buy a ticket to see me live so I can buy diapers for my son. My daughter, she's chubby. She'll be fine, you know. Are you are you traveling? Are you doing yeah, dates on the road soon? Yeah, I have a Oh, okay. Yeah. So right. I've been traveling. I just got back from Miami and Columbus, Ohio. I got New York directly. And I'm going back to LA uh, on Saturday. Okay. And I go to... Uh, Portland, Oregon, and uh, La Brea Improv in California, and then go to uh, Portland, uh, Nashville, Tennessee, Atlanta, and all over USA. I'm coming all over USA. Wow. Jeez. Good on you. Well, it's very hard, but uh, yeah. but uh, I know what I can do or what I cannot do. Sure. Like, I know I can't have an easy life. I have to work and worry about money constantly, mm-hmm. try to hustle constantly, mm-hmm. rather than laying in a spa, getting a massage, and spend it. Mm-hmm. 20 grand on a billboard on Sunset for my show. Yeah. I can't, I don't have the money because I don't, I don't let my husband tell me I'm fat and ugly. Like, I just can't listen to it. Yeah. Some yeah. girls, they can have that life, but I can't do it. It's going to cost my, my, my life. Yeah. So, therefore, I'm just going to work in little clubs and go on live and uh, scream about buying my ticket and being desperate. I mean, that's, that's what I deserve. You know, I'm not, I'm not smart enough. I, I mean, I, it seems like you're, you're very smart if you're, t- if you're touring, you know. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel All like I really US. want to advise younger girls like uh, there's a life we can choose. Yeah. I think uh, having dignity is uh-huh. always going to be the easier way. You think it's hard, but it's actually easier. When yeah. you maintain your dignity, you you invest your energy and time to develop who you are and your value. People mm-hmm. can't deny value. You just, if you don't have the same opportunity, you just increase your value so you get what you want. But if you don't want to work at all, you have to be okay with not having dignity. It's just going to be what's going to happen to you. People won't mm. respect you if you're going to be there 
transactionally for money, guys is not gonna marry you. They don't respect you. They just don't. And mm. I don't blame them. So do you do you think? I guess I, uh, how am I how am I wording this? Do you think that the fact that you're on this path now, and you say that this is this is the easier path? It feels you know obviously it feels harder in the moment, mm -hmm. but this is the easier path to take with your life and everything. Do you think that what you want out of doing comedy and traveling and everything? Do you feel like you're getting it and you're getting there, or how do how do you feel overall? I felt that the comedy saved my life. My marriage was falling apart because of I can't stop going to do shows. Yeah. My ex wasn't happy with me having a career. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, I think talk about my problems front and center to people and make them laugh, mm -hmm. make me happy. I have this high that doesn't go away. Mm -hmm. So I don't really drink anymore. I don't really, I, I to be honest, like I literally felt happy waking up in the morning from this show I did last night listening to the great comedians, what they did to make this world better. Like mm -hmm. Lenny Bruce, like Richard Pryor, like George Cullen. You imagine that I am doing what they are doing. I'm not going to be doing what they're doing, but I, I'm in that category of people who are making people laugh while talking about the problems in society. It makes me feel proud to be part of this group mm -hmm. of people. Make me thrive the rest of my life to, to go towards this greats. So I'm on stage every night. Because I know as long as I'm on stage every night, I'm getting better. Mm -hmm. If I'm getting better, I may be great one day. Yeah. And that turns me on so much. Yeah. That's why I don't really need a relationship to make me feel like I'm complete. I have those children I love, you know, and I wanted them to see um, my son would really respect a woman. He'll be like, my mother had zero child support. She sent me to private school. She did everything she can, take me to a tour. Like she is fine. And he's going to respect a woman. He's never going to look at a girl be like you can't work, you know, like you need me. And my daughter will be like, I don't need a man. She mm -hmm. will respect men, but she also won't let men abuse her. Mm -hmm. She will have a very healthy perspective as men. She's not going to be like, a, expect a man to pay for her life. Yeah. Because even though you expect them to pay your life, they, they would respect you. They would be like, oh, I can't, you know, boss her around, ask her to do the, to cook food, you know. Yeah. I should cook, she should cook. You will be like, you are a woman, you should cook because I pay rent. She'll be like, you pay rent, why would you pay rent? I have my own apartment. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she will, I think that's healthier for a woman. Because you can't just be like, you pay rent, you can't cheat, and I don't want to work. It, it just, it's not like, a, it just doesn't, doesn't work. If he, <laughs> yeah, if yeah. you are living under him, he's going to cheat. Okay. I think he should cheat. If you're just going to be like, a, I, yeah. I need you to pay me money for food. What are you? <laughs> what are you? I don't know. What? Unless you are like, a, you know, you are married. Your job is stay home mom. Mm -hmm. Stay home mom is more job than running a company. Like stay home mom, I respect stay home mom. Like they do a million jobs. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they take the money, give the mom money because they work harder. You know, I'm not saying like it's shameful you don't have a job. It's just like if you are lazy, you're just gonna lay there. It's a very different job. On couch. Yeah. 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 It's it's a, home, yeah. Being a stay home mom is a very, full time like, job. Yeah. It's That's a miscellaneous very, job. Very hard job. Yes. Yeah. I think we just can't shut up. We keep talking. Are yeah. we good with time? Are we? Yeah. I mean, you're at an hour 14 right now. I think, okay. I, I wanted to talk about the SAG. Oh, about the strike? Yeah, because. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, if you want. Did you go? We did, can sum it up, I guess. Sum it really up quickly. with the SAG. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So basically, the writers went on strike a couple months ago, and the actors just joined the strike, did you even go? though they were. They were supportive of the strike the whole time, and there mm -hmm. were a lot of actors that were going out picketing with the writers and stuff. SAG officially just joined the strike recently. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I've, I've been to the picket lines and stuff. Um, I don't fully know how people – like, I don't know how studios are going to make much money in the in the lieu of, of a strike. I, I feel like – Maybe they double down on reality, but I feel like because of because we're at a different place now with with social, mm -hmm. I don't think people gravitate towards reality the same. Like I don't know the numbers, so maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. But I feel like every single person is running a reality show at any given point that has a YouTube, an Instagram, a Twitter, a TikTok, a Snapchat. Like everyone's doing a reality show now. So the idea that like a bunch of new reality shows are going to pop up and replace all of the scripted world's content and all of the actors that are in everything seems highly unlikely. So I, you know, I think that, uh, 
a, a united front is always the best, mm-hmm. and it's and it's better that we're all in it together. And it's for it. Even if you are not working right now or you're not in SAG at the moment, it's for everyone in terms of like everyone who's ever going to be a writer, everyone who's ever going to be an actor, everyone who's ever going to join those two unions and to set an industry standard that other countries can learn to not abuse. Because right now this is a very like North American battle, mm-hmm. but who knows? Let's say let's say things pop off and – in a country like Thailand and they start doing a bunch of movie productions Mm -hmm. and everything and they want to have bad conditions, Mm -hmm. there are... I think now they're looking for Korean writers. Yeah. They were like, then they were writing excited and like, how much you pay me? They're like, fuck off! Yeah. No chemistry for you, bitch. And I I just feel like, I think that's the perfect time for Elon Musk to come in to Uh to fuck Zach in the asshole is like uh, he's gonna infuse two billion dollars okay. to to hire all the writers and actors to get all their project and make movies and stuff and uh, he can c- come back as threats you know oh, that just, would be a good job like just Twitter movies Twitter movies yeah wow TVs like okay. Twitter movies that would be great like uh, yeah. yeah it's the perfect time for a billionaire to come in and take over yeah yeah just also like I feel in. very happy the actors are getting paid right now because I audition for every role I, I reject <laughs> all the bitches who got a job fuck you enjoy being poor because I have a national tour come on, come up bitch ha 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 but uh, I'm in SAG and I support you and fuck the rich assholes they should get fucked fuck them <laughs> yeah there's there's a lot of middle fingers unless you're fucking them unless you're fucking them you know you, you don't want to you don't want to pay those people but yeah. Anyways. Okay. I'm so happy they are, they don't have any money right now. Who steal all my jobs? Yeah. Uh, crazy rich Asian and uh, fresh off the boat. I don't have the job, but I'm getting paid five grand a show. You don't get nothing because you are you got the job. Fuck you. Uh uh-uh. uh. I'm kidding, guys. I'm bitter. <laughs> <laughs> crazy rich wow. Asians. I was still rich, bitch. I'm kidding. Wow. Yeah, I'm here with, I'm in SAG, you know. I'm yeah. going to have my own TV show and movie, and I want uh, actors and actors and writers to get paid. They are the foundation of the show. Except for... Those manipulative uh, executives, who... they don't have any talent. They, yeah. just, uh, they just know how to abuse people. Yeah. That's a good talent. They, see, Trump has it. You, you, how far you can go being shameless is, is powerful. Yeah, I guess if you have no shame, yeah, there's no, like, there's no uh, You are broke because you didn't borrow enough money. If you borrow a billion dollars, the bank's your friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we nobody's broke. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, I'll be canceled after this, and uh, <laughs> and that's yeah. Thank you very much. Thank I, you, Josh. Yeah. Th- thanks for having me. I had so much fun. Oh yeah. my god, this is like the best. Yeah. Episode.